Okay, this is known as purple dead nettle. And the easiest way to identify it is it has the purple flowers at the top or the purple leaves. It always has pink flowers and then it has lower green leaves. The stem, if you pull it up, is square instead of round now the leaves can be made into a poultice for uh, using to clean or disinfect disinfect a wound that can be used for cuts and scrapes the leaves can be used to eat or to make a smoothie um, the plant itself has both medicinal and edible properties uh, the medicinal properties is it has a warming effect on the body if you drink a tea from it um, it also makes the kidneys more active so you can expect to go to the restroom more often and there are also other properties that I can't remember right off the top of my head but this will grow in uh, literally wild areas you can see there's growing pretty much all over right here so this is the edge of the woods a um, few that are growing here it spreads very easily so all along these woods more down there and if I didn't mention the name it's purple dead nettle you'll find it pretty much all over the place some more down there you can even find it growing out like this is my yard right here there's one right there it's starting to come up so uh Usually in April is when you see the pink flowers and then later on in the year the pink flowers turn into seeds and that's basically how it rejuvenates itself for next year. I'm not really seeing any more. I'm actually out looking for moral mushrooms. But uh, I meant to do a video on that purple dead nettle because I see it all the time. I'll go ahead and put some other stats up about it. Uh, because I just kind of went over briefly what, what all it's good for. But it's good for all kinds of other purposes.